Ready? Hi, Gay Derusa with Majestic Rider. So today I'm working with a Tennessee walking horse mare that's getting back in shape. And I rode her in the arena, but she was a little bit choppy. Um, she trots when she's loose, but she wasn't getting trotty when I rode her. She was actually getting a little pacey. So she also pulled on the bit some, so I wanted to change the bit. And so what I'm doing is working on her on the ground at her gait, trying to get her to slow down a little bit. She kind of does more of a show gait and it, um, to me, it feels like they're hopping when they're doing that. So I don't like it so much. So for trail riders, I'm trying to make it as comfortable as it can be. So I'm kind of slowing her down and then trying to build her gates back up. So it'll just be smooth, 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 smooth and never choppy. So I did some flat walking, which was pretty slow. Now I'm gonna try and make her walk a little bit faster. And um, the flat walking I did for five minutes each direction, it was just a little bit of a fast walk, not very much, because she kept going too fast otherwise. So now I'm gonna speed her up a little bit more and we'll see how it goes. Now, um, she's in a, a halter, so I'm pulling on the halter if I need to adjust her speed. The red thing on her forehead, that's blinking lights, because sometimes I ride them at night and I just left it on the bridle. And then she has a um, mylar bit, level one in her mouth. It's a five inch shank with a five inch mouthpiece and a curb chain. She has side reins attached, which you've seen me use before. Come here, girlie. She's like, no. Okay. So she has side reins attached, but they're pretty loose. And then the thing around her belly is called a sur single. So um, I like to put them in this when I'm working on their gait so they know the difference between when they can run around, trot, pace, or do whatever they want versus when I want them to actually gait. Um, and then I have just two poles set up because she's trotty, so I don't want too many poles or she might start trotting a lot. But I do want her to pick up her feet and pay attention, which she wasn't doing so much in the beginning. Okay, so remember now I'm trying to get a running walk out of her, but not very fast. Just correct footing and smooth with a head shake. Oh, and she didn't lunge very well. Did you? Okay, so let's go this way. So that's just a very slow walk, so we want her to go faster. This is more like her flat walk. Let me take her around once so you see what her flat walk looks like, or the speed I'm making her flat walk. Right about there, easy. Okay, now when I get to the next pole, I'm gonna start speeding her up a little bit more. Good girl, good job. Good job. Mares like praise, and praise them when they do it right. So you'll see she almost gets too fast at times, so I don't wanna push her so much that she starts stopping or dating too fast, like there. That's more like her show gate, I don't want that. I said, I don't want that. Look, she's like, I'm not doing it. That's good. You're on television, so everybody's watching you have a little hissy fit. Uh -uh. So see, she's like, I just know how to go faster. I'm like, well, I don't want that. Sorry. There she goes again. Uh -uh. So I don't want that. Good girl. Good job. So some people like it. It's just your preference. I've ridden both, and I don't like that hopping gait because it has suspension, so you get a little bump in it, and I don't like that. I like it completely smooth. Good girl, right there is very nice. That's what I'm looking for. So you'll see she doesn't hold it the whole time. Ah, ah. That's another temper tantrum. That's a temper tantrum. Good girl. So I just held my ground, and she gave in. Smart ones will have temper tantrums, so don't get mad about it. It just means you got a smart horse. There's like, are you smart enough to figure out how to fix that? So again, this is all new to her, so she's testing. Like, this is hard work. Do I have to do this? Yeah, you do. Good girl, that's better. So we want to keep going until she does it pretty well a couple of times a round. Good girl, but this is her first time doing the running walk on this. Good girl. No? So again, in time, this might be her flat walk once we get her smoothed out, but right now I'm going to use this to be her running walk. So remember, get the footfall first. 
first, then the speed. Then you'll get a really smooth horse. The girl. almost started hopping a little bit too much there and then she was like Gabe not paying attention I'm gonna cut in ah, ah. more when I'm trying to get out of her. So she did it pretty well. She didn't stay in it the whole time. That's normal in the beginning. So now I'm going to go the other way. This way she had a harder time. When I was teaching her to lunge, she kind of ran sideways with her head going one way and her body going the other. So this is more like a flat walk. So I want her to be faster than this. smooth at any speed, you got to work them slowly up to it. Otherwise, they'll jump speed, and they sometimes are not smooth in between those speeds if there's a big, you know, gap. So a little faster than this. Good girl. Now she saw me switch my hands, and then she took advantage and went sideways instead of doing which she's figuring out she's supposed to do. A little faster. Good girl. But at least she's staying straight. She's not running crooked anymore. Easy. Easy. Good girl. So see, she gated a little fast, and then she broke to a trot when she went over the pole. Because she went past her gate. And I don't want her head too low again since she's trotty. If it gets too low, we can make her more on the trotty side. So we just kind of want it neutral. And that's why the side reins have some tension on them, but not very much. So she gets used to this bit pressure, and then when I get back on, she won't fight it so much. I'll keep going. So let's see now she's going faster. I'm not making a big deal out of it. Remember, you don't get to stop or be done until she does the right thing. So I really haven't made it around one circle at the same speed yet, but that's normal in the beginning. has a little preference on how they want their gait to be or where they want their horse's head and all of that um, you know it's up to you how smooth you want it or maybe you like that fast hopping gait and you know that's that's fine um, but you're just trying to get at a point to the 
across to the horse what you want them to do. So it took her a little while to get it, but she got it. She had a couple hissy fits, that's normal because they're testing to see if they have to do it or not. Just like you're testing to see if you have to go to work, you get fired, right? So you have to go to work. So um, she's testing a little bit, but that's normal. I have not had her very long, right? Um, so we're just getting used to each other and she's figuring out she has to do a job now. She's not on vacation anymore. And um, so working with the walking horses on the lunge line to gate, they're probably the easiest ones to work with on this because they're just walking and then it's a faster walk and a faster walk. If you have a fox trotter, you can work on their flat walk on the lunge line and the sur single, but as you go to the fox trot, it's harder and it's harder to recognize. So you gotta be really good about doing it. And some of them I can get to do it pretty well. I can get them to do a fox trot on it. And some of them, you just, they just can't get the idea and they just keep trotting and it's harder. So you might get a couple steps, but you're not going to get many circles of it. The Rockies, the same thing. They're doing more step pace or a rack, and that's hard to do on these lunge lines with like a sur single on. You might be able to do it loose, and they might be pretty good at it, or they might not. But the walking horse, I think, is the easiest one when I'm working on the gate from the ground. So again, if you don't want to ride, remember, you can work them from the ground. You can work them over poles if they're trippy or if it's a horse that doesn't pay attention. It gets them better at circles. It gets them better at bending. And you don't have to put all your tack on them. And that's much easier, right? Um, you don't want to overdo it. Sometimes it's annoying for the horse because you keep following them with the stick. And you got to be careful about it. And you're trying to reward them when they do the right thing and not reward them. You saw me just kind of hold my ground and wait for her to give in when they do the wrong thing. Uh, mares and gildings are different. Mares will figure it out quicker. They can throw a big hissy fit, but if you do it right and don't piss them off, they'll usually do it for you and then they'll do it very nicely. The gelding might try more often because sometimes even though they got in trouble or something happened, they don't always remember and they try it again. And geldings are pretty funny. Mares are more serious. And she's like, I'm so serious that I think you have cookies in that bag. And I do. But again, she was being very good and very nice and not mouthy or anything. She was just kind of asking for it. So give her a little reward for that. We want to make her more friendly. Okay, I hope that helps some of you when if you have one that was more show ridden and you're trying to slow the gate down and maybe make it a little bit smoother for your trail riding. Okay.